Good day and thank you for watching. My name is Mihai and I've been riding in Vietnam for years. I can't get enough of it. In this second video of the series of three covering the Hazang Loop, we'll explore one of the most amazing but also challenging mountain routes in this country, running from Dong Ban Town to the Lung Ku Flag Tower. The tower is a significant landmark located in Hazang Province, Vietnam. The country's actual northernmost point is situated about 3 kilometers from Lung Ku Flag Tower. So let's go! This series of videos were recorded during the most recent of my several trips to Hazang Province, Vietnam. If you haven't watched the first video of this series and you want to get more insights, please click on this related video. I'll brief you though. Hazang province is the northernmost province of Vietnam, one of the most beautiful but also one of the poorest. The main highway there, which makes the most of the Hazang loop, is National Highway or National Road 4C or Koklo Bonse, abbreviated QL4C on Google Maps. In the previous video, we explored the section from Yenming Town to Dongban Town, a wonderful 44 km stretch of the Hazang Loop route filled with landscapes which will take your breath away. In this video, I'll show you the route from Dongban Town to the Lungku Flag Tower, a 26 km stretch of rough terrain, switchbacks and rugged landscapes. When you are in Dongban Town, open Google Maps and type in Lungku Flag Tower and you'll easily get the route as it is the only one. You'll get off QL4C which sort of encircles the whole province and get on some roads abbreviated DT which means provincial road first DT 182B and later DCC QG I'd like to say from the beginning I do not recommend it to beginners I'll get back to this on the way Although the 26 km route is quite easy to follow, you'll get to a few crossroads, so you need to either attach your phone to your handlebars or stop at each of them and look at the map, as I usually do. Flag Tower is situated near the northernmost point of Vietnam. It stands atop Lung Ku Peak, which is almost 1500 meters. This tower marks the northernmost point of Vietnam and is a symbol of national sovereignty. Visitors can climb the tower to enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding countryside and see the giant Vietnamese flag flying above. The journey offers scenic views as Lung Ku is nestled in the midst of the Dong Van Kars Plateau Geopark, a UNESCO global geopark known for its rugged limestone mountains deep valleys and dramatic karst formations. The landscape around Lung Ku is characterized by steep cliffs, lush forests and terraced fields cultivated by ethnic minority communities. Visiting Lung Ku is not only about reaching the northernmost point of Vietnam, but also about experiencing the stunning raw beauty of its landscapes. 
It's a destination that captivates travelers with its amazing viewpoints and opportunities for outdoor exploration. And now, let's talk about the mighty Lungku Flag Tower. The Lungku Flag Tower is located at an altitude of nearly 1,500 meters above sea level and about 3.3 kilometers from the actual northernmost point of Vietnam. The flagpole was built according to the Hanoi flag model with a total height of 34.85 meters. The flag is 54 square meters wide, symbolizing the 54 ethnic groups living together on the territory of Vietnam. The column's body illustrates the stages of the country's history, as well as the people and customs of the bronze development of ethnic groups in Hazan. To reach the flagpole, visitors must climb 839 steps. The first set includes 425 stone steps from the foot of the mountain. The second consists of 279 stone steps. The third set comprises of 135 steel steps located inside. The flagpole itself is about 8 meters high and made of stainless steel, hanging the flag with a length of 9 meters and a width of 6. At the foot of the flagpole, there is a souvenir shop displaying working tools, costumes and cultural products of the Hazan ethnic groups. There is a cafe at the bottom. From the Lungku flag tower, visitors can enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and valleys. On clear days, you can see kilometers away. The flag tower symbolizes the sovereignty and unity of Vietnam. The towering flagpole flies the Vietnamese flag, and the area is considered a patriotic symbol for the country. Located 330 meters from the flagpole, at the foot of the mountain, is Lung Ku Border Guard Station. In addition to the task of protecting the border, Lung Ku Border Guard Station also has the task of taking care of and protecting the Lung Ku flagpole. About every week or every 10 days, they have to change the flag once because the wind on Lungku Peak is very, very strong, making the flag easily torn and damaged. At the station, there is always a spare flag. With its stunning beauty, Hazan province is especially popular with adventurous people eager to rent a motorbike and go off the beaten path. While roads in Hazang are challenging, the roads from Dongvan to Lungku are especially dangerous in my opinion. I do not recommend it to beginners, as I myself wouldn't have ridden here at the very beginning. However, please be very careful and keep in mind a few things. Firstly, Check brakes and tires before you rent a motorbike and take it for a test drive. It's simply common practice around here. You can leave a document and take the bike for a test drive. I wouldn't rent a fully automatic since you will need the engine brake and low gears going downhill. If you are a beginner, a semi-automatic would be the best choice. 
manual bike is also an option if you know how to handle a clutch. Secondly, there are often no guardrails on this route from Donvan to Lungku. Be careful in curves, especially when you are on the cliff side. If you are speeding or if you slide, you may end up flying off the cliff, except that you won't have a parachute. There are plenty of scenic views and this is, ironically, another danger. Don't lose focus because of the amazing views and don't stop suddenly to take a quick photo. Imagine that there may always be someone behind you who may not have time to stop. Slow down slowly, as I like to say. Indicate right and always stop on the right. Also, please keep in mind that other people may do the same thing. Stop suddenly for pictures, selfies or whatever reason. Therefore, you should always keep a safe distance between you and the vehicle in front. And finally, my general rule is take your time. Don't do it in a rush. Not only will there be risks, but you also won't enjoy it as much. Allow Dong Van Lung Ku and back about 3 to 4 hours, including visiting the tower. The area around Lungku is inhabited by several ethnic minority groups such as Hmong and Zhao, adding to the cultural richness of the site. These communities have preserved their traditional way of life, including distinctive clothing, customs and handicrafts. Visiting Lungku provides an opportunity to interact with locals and learn about their rich cultural heritage. Apart from enjoying the views at the tower, visitors can explore the area around Lungku, which includes hiking trails and opportunities to experience local culture through homestays and village visits. Visitors can learn about local traditions, crafts, and daily life by interacting with the nearby communities. The trip to Lungku Flag Tower is not only a historic and symbolic site, but also a gateway to exploring the natural beauty and cultural diversity of Hazan province. It offers visitors a chance to connect with Vietnam's heritage while enjoying the spectacular mountain scenery of the Northern Highlands. Visiting Lung Ku from Dong Van is not just about reaching a geographical landmark. It's an opportunity to explore the unique cultural and natural landscapes of Hazan province, immersing yourself in the beauty and traditions of Northern Vietnam. Weather conditions can vary, so it's advisable to check the forecast before visiting. The area can be cool even during the summer months due to its high elevation, so it's wise to bring layers of clothing. Check the weather forecast before traveling, especially during the rainy season, typically from May to September, as road conditions can be affected. Many travelers prefer to rent a motorbike or hire a car to make the journey from Dongvan to Lungku. The road is generally in good condition, but it can be narrow and winding in parts, especially as you approach Lungku. There may be local buses or shared minivans that operate between Dongvan and Lungku, but these options can be less frequent and less flexible compared to private transport. Traveling from Dongvan to Lungku is a relatively short journey which can take about one hour depending on your mode of transport and stops along the way. 
The Dong Van Kars Plateau is renowned for its stunning and unique scenery. The plateau is dominated by dramatic limestone formations, characterized by steep cliffs, deep valleys, and towering peaks. These karst landscapes create a rugged and picturesque terrain. Local ethnic minority communities have carved terraced fields into the steep hillsides. These terraces are not only functional for agriculture, but also add a geometric beauty to the landscape, especially when they are lush and green. Beyond the limestone karsts, the Dongvan area boasts a rich geological diversity. Fossils and geological formations from different eras are visible, offering insights into the region's geological history. The plateau is crisscrossed by roads that wind through valleys, climb steep slopes, and offer breathtaking views at every turn. Despite its rugged terrain, the plateau supports a surprising variety. Unique plant species as well as rare animals can be found here. Visiting the Dongvan Kars Plateau, you will surely not be disappointed about its natural beauty. Finally, the Dongvan district is a destination that appeals to travelers seeking both natural wonders and cultural immersion. Whether exploring its ancient town, hiking through its rugged landscapes, or interacting with local communities, travelers are sure to be captivated by its unique charm and scenic splendor. Lungku, located in the Dong Van district of Hazang province, Vietnam, is renowned for its stunning natural beauty, as you can see in this video, and cultural significance. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please subscribe, like and share, as this will help grow my channel. I hope you'll enjoy watching my other videos available now and in the future. Until next time, ride safe!